me and George were basically at that point, I don't know if it's still the law, but if you sort of got into a place that was derelict or nobody was in, then you could live there. We were looking around central London for a house and we, f and, uh, we found one. And we also met these people who, who'd already started squatting and they were, they were these uh, college students from St Martin's College. And we immediately sort of liked each other because we were from the sort of wrong side of the tracks and these were people who actually were paid to be flamboyant and, and which both of us sort of just had a love in. So I ended up moving into this massive house in Warren Street which became a sort of legendary squat with people like Stephen Jones and the Body Map people and John Maybury and a lot of people, I think Mark Jacobs was there and just I ended up going out with this girl who was ended up being a sort of big time stylist and she used to go around dressed as Queen Elizabeth the <laughs> First. <laughs> I remember she went she went to Paris and she walked to this cafe and everybody stood up and clapped <laughs> for her. You know, it was like pretty yes, here she comes. You know, it was great. And we had a, a, a while I mean it was an amazing time. So we ended up living in this huge house and then one day it, it was literally I think it was like a 10 bedroom house or something, it was huge and there's all these people living there and one day just Kate Garner came in to my bedroom and sort of she, she liked, I think she was just like, liked my look and she was like, will you be in a band with me? I had a guitar, that's right, I just bought a guitar like three weeks before and she said, come play guitar in my band, I was like, I can't play guitar, I was like, I just bought it, you know, I was just like, I only had it for three weeks, I can't be in a band and she's like, I'll let you learn, I was like, I was like, no, I don't want to do it. She sort of wouldn't give up. She was very driven. And that was kind of like really good because I was such a lazy person. I still am. So she had this tremendous drive and she came back and she kept dangling these things. You know, she'd say, oh, you want to do some photos and all that? Because she was a photographer. And she was friends with my girlfriend. And that's, I don't know how they met. But anyway, but anyway, basically she got, enticed me into a recording studio. She said, oh, I've got a recording studio. So I was like, I couldn't say no to that. <laughs> I, really, I was really excited. So we ended up making a demo and it started from that, really. And then we, we had various, you know, we used to rehearse and write songs and, and uh, that's how it came pop. But it all, I mean, it all seemed like it took forever, but it probably only took about nine months or six months. We just kept doing demos with different record companies uh, and then playing them off against each other in the true Spandau Bar <laughs> Ballet spirit of the times. Uh, because basically, if then, if you could get a bit of media in interest, which we could because we knew all the people in the face and the... If they, re you know, if record companies read about you in a magazine that was meant to be cool, then they'd be like, you know, their A and R men would be like, "Why don't you know about these people?" You know, so they were desperate for 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 people to find bands, and and we didn't need to play live. We'd done a couple of good songs that were pretty. Well, I thought they were 100%, you know, guaranteed hits. You know, which kind of they were, but you know, I was completely. We, it's done. You know. <laughs> It's done, we've done that now. Let's, you know, give us our money and we will go on our way, <laughs> you know. So, but no, it was nice. It was, it was, you know, we were extremely poor at that time. 